Hey there, how are you today? Welcome to my complete Lang Chain series where we will go hands on with projects, real world applications, and everything you need to build for powerful AI apps using LangChain with OpenAI. And if you are here, I'm guessing you have already interacted with LLMs in some form, but if you are looking to go deeper and really understand how things work under the hood, I highly recommend checking out my series, Working with OpenAI. No matter what level you are at, one thing is clear, LLMs are amazing at content generation for tasks like summarizations, question answering, even calling tools. But when it comes to building actual applications, things like real-time assistant, a memory powered chatbot, or a tool that connects to live data, you need more than just an NLM. And that's where LangChain comes in. And in this series, we will walk through everything from setup to prompt templates to chains to memories, tools, agents, retrieval augmented systems and full end-to-end -end apps. But before we talk about what LangChain is and why it is such a game changer, let's dive right into the environment setup. Once we are up and running, I'll show you how a simple prompt works and then we'll break down why LangChain is such a powerful upgrade for building Gen AI apps. So let's get started. To get OpenAI API access, go to platform.openai.com. Create OpenAI account, it's free. Via search, you can go to API keys. Click on create new secret key. Give it a name and a project and click on create secret key. Once the key is created, don't be in hurry at this point. Make sure you copy this key and save it somewhere safe so that you can access it later to save it in an environment file. Click on done. Once you click on done, you will not be able to see this secret key. Even on clicking on add it, it won't be visible. Once the key is created, go to billing. Once you are in billing, add a payment method and add to credit balance. You can start with $5. It will take a long time to empty this balance. Have a look at pricing to see pricing of different models. For learning purpose, you can start with GPT-40 mini. And in case embedding is required, we can use text embedding small. We will be setting up a virtual Python environment for LangChain with OpenAI. To do this, go to anaconda.com. Here we will be using Anaconda uh, Jupyter Notebook. All you need to do is create your virtual environment and do the necessary installation. So to do Anaconda installation, we have to go to this website, skip registration. You can register if you want and click on the relevant download for your operating system. Once the download is done, click on the installable and click on next next button and it will just make sure that you note the path where the installation is done. And once it is done, make sure that uh, you have already set it in environment variables. In Windows, we can check it via env variables path. As you can notice, we need to have these paths where the anaconda is installed in our environment variable path. All right. So once this is done, let's launch anaconda prompt. When you will launch anaconda, it will by default open in base environment or the default environment. And if you see in this case, the Python version is 312. Now we will not be doing our package installation of LangChain or OpenAI in this environment. We will be creating a separate virtual environment. To do that, let's create a Python environment with the help of Konda. Create minus n. Let's name our virtual environment uh, LangChain app, and we can supply the Python version is equal to 3.11, which is the recommended version. Uh, as of now, for uh, current line chain version of uh, 0 0.3, let's press enter. Now, if you do Konda env list, it will give you the list of environments available in your Anaconda environment. 
we have just created langchain app and it also shows the path of this environment we can uh, activate this environment so that we can install further packages on this so we are in this environment now if you check python version over here it will give you the 311 version now we have a virtual environment langchain app with python 3.11 and on the top of it we need to install packages to do langchain environment setup in this virtual environment create a folder since we will be doing everything locally over here and in my case windows i have created a folder inside projects which is langchain environment and here i have created a file called requirements.txt where i have mentioned the packages which i need to install now from where these packages are coming let's understand that go to page python.langchain.com and in docs click on versions and uh, if you click on versions you will see that the latest one mentioned over here is langchain 0.3 right and if we scroll down we will be able to see what are the base packages required and it tells the constraint also that recommended constraint for langchain is greater than or equal to 0.3 less than 0.4 you can also see what is new in this and everything and uh, similarly if you are doing installation for uh, latest one you may find different versions over here for now it is 0.3 these are the base packages needed let's talk about the purpose of each one by one quickly langchain is the base package that ties everything together it provides a unified interfaces for its different components which we will be looking at chains agents tools memories and models okay so this is a must need package coming to langchain community it uh, basically maintains integrations like api wrappers and vector stores and document loaders let's say we want to connect with openai api chroma db so first we need to have this langchain community which is maintaining the integrations for this these wrappers again langchain text splitter when we will be using vector databases or creating systems like rag we will be needing these utility packages to split large text into manageable chunks coming to langchain core it is the essential building block right it shares the logic schema model interfaces we need it always then langchain experimental features beta module and that are not yet part of stable core it is optional we can install it if we want otherwise we can leave it out coming to downstream packages we right now we will not be installing these we'll talk about them later as in when we need them we will be quickly needing langgraph to work with agents but right now we will not be installing it coming to integration packages so we will be picking these two integration packages langchain openai to connect langchain to openai apis which will basically provide the wrapper we'll of course need openai package itself to work with the llms again langchain chroma to connect langchain to chroma db vector store and uh, again we'll need basic chroma db setup itself the local one which we will be doing over here so that's about uh, with the help of this we are here at this requirements.txt where we have specified what we need apart from that uh, we have specified jupyter ipy kernel for the registration of the virtual environment which we have created and then we also have this python.env we will be using to load the environment file where we are primarily storing our openai api key so this is requirement.txt is ready over here so let's go to this path first and uh, you can see that requirements.txt is there now to do the installation all we need is this command pip install minus r requirements.txt now one thing to note over here is we can do the installation of packages one by one as well without requirements.txt there is another way is to install uh, is to use a yaml file doesn't matter the main thing is we need to do installation of these packages and the version requirement we can see from the langchain page which i already showed to you so 
let's click on enter once the setup is complete we need to register our langchain environment kernel and this we can do with the help of uh, this command ipy kernel and we can also add the display where we can add the environment name and in case we need different display name let's say python langchain we can pass that too so this will register the langchain environment and uh, uh, kernel and we will be able to work inside that in our jupyter notebook so i guess we are ready to launch our jupyter notebook now and if we click on new we will be able to see python langchain environment and uh, let's rename this untitled as test environment and now is the time to test that our environment is working fine we'll create a basic request from langchain and see if it is running fine to get started with our environment and further coding we'll as a first step load api key which we created in open api for the open api llm access and for that first let's open a notepad and here in windows i'll do save as I'll go to this path of my project where I also stored requirements.txt. I'll select all files and I'll create a file called .env. Now in this file .env, you will see the extension as env file, not .txt file. So I'll further edit it. And here what I'll do, I'll create environment variable which will store open API key. Okay. so this we need to load this environment file in our code primary purpose of this jupyter notebook is checking our environment so first thing which we are doing is loading open ai api key as a first step we need to load open ai key we have already created open ai key in our previous video and we have already created environment file where we have loaded this open ai api key environment variable all we need is this variable value here in this notebook and this is the way to do that if it is successfully loading or not just check it out by printing the value make sure you don't share your secret open ai key in the public repository now once we have loaded open ai key we need to make a request we need to define llm since we are working with open ai we can import our integration package and that is chat open ai now this chat open ai is a direct connector for open ai's chat models in langchain let's define llm by passing so here we need to pass the model which we will be using for learning purpose we can use gpt 40 mini once done let's define llm object by using this chat open ai and passing it a model and api key we will talk about temperature variable later it is optional we can omit this right now before we move to our next step of sending our request let's talk a little bit about the beauty of langchain over here the key advantage over here is that we can easily switch to other models or even other providers like gemini or any other provider once the llm is created the rest of your code usually stays the same and we do not need to rewrite the calling logic or change the workflow let's begin our first request over here and for that we will define our first prompt who is the prime minister of india we'll note down the response in a variable with the help of a method called invoke where we are passing this prompt can access the response using response one dot content so let's run this and i get the answer whatever it has in its last train data it gives me the answer let's quickly send a second request once we have got the answer to our first question who is the prime minister of india let's set the second request where he was born and i'm sure we are hoping to get the answer with respect to and in continuation to our first question let's see what llm returns in this case 
and it says could you please clarify who you are referring to and that was not we expected awesome we have just sent our first request through LangChain and that line as of my last knowledge tells us something important the LLM is not accessing real-time data it's relying on what it learnt during training which happens periodically and then I followed up with a second question where was he born and the LLM replied could you please specify who you are referring to this shows something else while LLMs are powerful they can struggle with context especially across multiple messages something you absolutely need in real world conversations and that's exactly where LangChain shines it helps us go beyond single prompt interactions and lets us build more intelligent connected and contextual applications so imagine a chatbot that remembers what you said just five minutes ago or a research assistant that reads your internal company PDFs or fetches information online and gives you structured answers that's when things get messy and complex and we need more than just a model we need components like prompt templates chains of action external tools apis parsers formatters memory agents and retrievers in the next lesson we will start building with prompt templates chains and parsers which are the building blocks of LangChain applications. And if you are enjoying this, please like, drop your questions or comments below. Let's keep going and build something amazing with LangChain. So let's get started with our next lesson.